the experience is intense. Like, your brain does not understand jumping out of an airplane. When you approach Skydive Chicago in Ottawa, Illinois, a sign warns of the dangerous activities ahead. I don't usually make a habit of going up on planes, but not landing inside of the plane as well. Nevertheless, I was there with my WGN teammate, Kevin Dolman, to jump out of a perfectly good airplane. Only we'd be with the best in the world, the United States Army's legendary precision parachute team, the Golden Knights. What we're doing here is uh, taking you for an Army experience. Staff Sergeant Jason Bowder is one of 50 active jumpers who can wear the elite Golden Knight patch on his shoulder. The Golden Knights were founded in 1959. The unit travels across the nation performing demonstrations at events like the Chicago Air and Water Show. We were started to uh, develop modern parachuting techniques and to uh, compete in world competitions and to uh, perform live aerial demonstrations for the American people. Each Golden Knight must complete a rigorous eight weeks of assessment before selection to the team. They spend 18 hour days, seven days a week, mastering the accuracy skills and aerial maneuvers while learning the history of the U.S. Army parachute team. On this morning, there was barely any movement on the wind socks or in the corn stalks. If there's not enough wind, then we're just gonna come in a little bit faster. Mike Lowe, all right, go ahead and step on the scale, please. Before we could jump, we had to meet the height and weight requirements. All right, you're good to go. Then attend a safety briefing. Just have a short video for you guys to watch, and then we'll get started into our briefing. Led by Staff Sergeant Bowder. Each of these uh, hooks here on the top is rated to 5,000 pounds. The parachutes themselves. Each parachute is equipped with a main parachute that sits in the bottom here, and also a reserve parachute. Are equipped with a main chute, a backup, and a computer. Is that it has an automatic activation device. This is a computer that if for whatever reason, if your instructor was incapacitated during the skydive, this computer would automatically activate your reserve parachute. We suited up and received a few final pointers. The biggest thing as a tandem instructor is just to remember to relax and arch. When we're bent all the way in half like that, that's really good. That's what makes us aerodynamic and fall towards the earth. I have never done anything like this in my entire life. Head on up, watch your head getting in. We boarded the Army's UV-18 Twin Otter airplane, and then we buckled in and we took off. Then, after about 15 minutes, we reached an altitude of 12,500 feet, and the door opened. Quite a lot of sensory overload the first time you look at the open door of an airplane, and you know you're about to jump out of it. don't have time to think anymore. You just listen to the instructor and you're out the door. You're trying to remember everything that they taught you then you just barrel roll out. We floated. We twisted. And eventually, we glided to the ground. <laughs> Back safely on the ground, you almost forget the sign that welcomed you, warning of those dangerous activities. <laughs> All right. Oh Welcome Wait, back to oh Earth. Oh, my gosh. Gold Knight Airs, Gold Knight Ground. Go ahead, sorry. Hey, sir, we got all jumpers safely on the ground. You know you're safe because you're with the best in the world. So I never really felt like I was in danger, but you did have that element of like, this is a little crazy. <laughs> I never thought I would jump out of an airplane, but I was only gonna do it with the Golden Knights, and I'll never do it again unless my wife wants to do it. In Ottawa with the Golden Knights, Mike Lowe, WGN News.